Hello, my fellow reptile enthusiasts. And this is going to be a twofold video. First of all, I'd like to mention that I am adding yet another addition to my reptile family, and that is a Brazilian rainbow boa constrictor. And I ordered, um, well, it's unsexed, but I ordered it from uh, Big Apple Pet Supply out of New York. And it is on its way and should be here sometime tomorrow. And I went and picked up this tank kit today. Um, I thought I'd give it a shot. I usually kind of just go and buy um, the supplies that I want individually. Uh, I've only ever really got a reptile kit one time, usually because um, I have my own preferences. Um, but I had bought, or I had bought the leopard gecko kit from PetSmart, and I did a review on that back uh, towards the beginning of the year. So I thought, well, you know, I'm getting a new snake. Let's try the snake kit. And this is by ZooMed. And I'm going to open this puppy up, and we will see what all comes with it. All right, so here's a quick rundown of what the packaging says is included. But I could just read it off real quick. So this is a 20-gallon tank, uh, which is 30 inches by 12 inches by 12 inches. And, of course, it comes with a screen top. Uh, it has a deep dome clamp lamp with a 100-watt daylight blue lamp. So that's the bulb. Uh, a Reptitherm UTH heater, so un so that's the heating pad for under the tank. Uh, it comes with an 8-quart bag, uh, the Aspen snake bedding, a medium Haba hut, and reptile plastic plant. Um, reptile thermometer and water dish as well. So uh, it also includes for free, well, it says for free, uh, Reptile safe water conditioner as well as a reptile care guide. So let's go over... Um, the what it includes show off each item so you guys know first off i thought i would just show off the screen lid um you've seen the tank and pretty basic screen lid it just slides in and out um, i'm hoping that maybe it has some tank clips or something because uh i've got some if it doesn't but i was just thinking it doesn't seem like that really stays in place very well i mean a snake I could just slide that on open. So I'm, <laughs> this is supposed to be a snake kit, and uh, I've never had a snake escape, so I don't particularly want to start with this one. So we might look into putting on some tank clips with that, but uh, we'll get to that in a minute. All right, so I thought I'd show off these things real quick. It comes with a Zoo Meds Guide to Snakes, and that's actually pretty cool. It goes over several different species of snakes and their requirements. So, uh, you know, that's pretty cool if you um, are planning on getting this kit before um, getting a particular snake and you wanted to look through that guide to kind of pick one out. Uh, that would be helpful. And then it comes with a 2019 to 2020 product catalog. And that's pretty cool, too. It has just uh, a number of ZoomEd products that you can look over. Uh, so it comes with the Aspen Snake Bedding. Uh, I will personally not be using this. Um, I'm not a fan of Aspen. Um, it's the typical snake bedding that most people, you know, prescribe in terms of like, you know, pet stores will include it in the kits like this. But if you have a tropical species, um, it's not going to hold moisture as well as, say, a coconut fiber or a cypress mulch. So I, I don't figure I'll be using the aspen. But, I mean, if you wanted to for maybe a corn snake or something of that nature, uh, it, it might would work for that. But since I have a tropical snake, I'm going to be going with cypress mulch. All right, there we have the little hobba hut hide. Just a cool looking little log pretty realistic it's kind of got like a flaky wood texture to it that's pretty cool uh the deep dome light here miniature um that's a nice nice little ceramic dome light um here we have the uh, heating pad and i'll show that's for of course a 10 to 20 gallon terrarium size and i'll of course uh, show myself applying it later in the video and of course here we have the precision analog thermometer and it'll show, of course, the the temperature on there. Um, it doesn't have a hygrometer, I don't guess, but I have one, a spare one, actually, that I'm going to put in the tank. Um, so that's something you might want to keep in mind is uh, picking up a hygrometer because it looks like this is just for measuring um, the temperature, not the humidity. 
Um, it has a little water dish, uh, medium size looks like. So that, that would be plenty good size for, for drinking. Uh, with um, rainbow boas, they typically need pretty high humidity. So I've actually got on order a um, kind of ramp water dish that he can get in and, uh, and bathe and, and drink out of if, if it wanted to. Uh, of course, there's the Repti Safe uh, liquid that comes for free, the conditioner. Uh, it can be used to, you know, just make regular water more reptile friendly. Um, I've only recently started using it. Typically, I just use distilled water to begin with, but I thought, you know, I could go ahead and put that in with the distilled water. Because uh, typically, you know, the tap water can have, can have, you know, different things in it that could be harmful to an animal. Um, so I, I never give my reptiles water directly from the tap. And uh, of course there is the daylight blue bulb. And then it has a little hanging plant as well that just sticks to the glass of the terrarium. And that is the gist of it. So really I feel like it does include everything that you would need for a basic snake setup. Uh, only other things I could think of would be a thermostat uh, to be able to control the heat of either the lamp or the um, under the tank heating pad uh, or possibly both. Maybe you want to use both. Uh, I wouldn't recommend doing both at the same time, but you could always use the lamp during the day, use the heating pad at night, uh, just whatever you plan on doing. For me personally, I'm just going to use the heating pad all the time and um, I will be using uh, the lamp for a UVB bulb, and I'll get into that in a minute. Um, the only thing that I would say is I wasn't too happy with the hide. It's just kind of a small little log, so I, I purchased my own hide that my boa should be able to use for quite a while, and I picked up a couple of UVB bulbs. Uh, PetSmart is actually having a deal right now. I'm not sure if it's nationwide or not, where it's buy one, uh, get one half off on all reptile bulbs, and you can mix and match. So I, I picked up a couple of UVB bulbs because I needed those. Um, and I will just say, of course, as far as UVB bulbs, uh, studies have shown that, you know, most reptile species don't need UVB rays, um, but they can aid in boosting their immune system and just, you know, the overall health of the animal. So I've been using UVB bulbs for a while in my tank setups, and I will be using it with my boa as well. And that's what I will be using the lamp for. Is I'm going to have that on a timer to use a, you know, do like a day-night cycle where I can have my UVB light on during the day and then the source of heat because UVBs, you know, UVB lights don't put out um, any kind of heat really. Um, so the heating pad will be on 24-7 for its source of heat. Um, with a rainbow bow especially, they don't want to, you don't want to overheat the enclosure you want to make sure that it, it stays a little cooler because uh, dehydration and overheating is um, really the biggest, I was reading, are really the biggest two um, threats to a rainbow boa. So I'm going to have to monitor that very closely. But overall, I'm I'm pretty happy with what we have here. Um, I'm, I'm, you know, like I said, I really feel like it should have everything that you would essentially need starting out. So, of course, later on, you might want to upgrade your enclosure. I'm sure I'll have to get a bigger tank at some point, obviously, but just starting out, I think this will work quite nicely. I wanted to mention too, it does include tank clips. Um, it's just these little key-like rings, and there's uh, two holes in the front that you can slide them down through. You just slide it in there, and it keeps the lid in place. You can't slide out, so don't have to worry about any snakes escaping. I did think about that. So you'll peel off the plastic backing and that can kind of go over how to actually apply it. Um, just a few warning tips and things like that. But you just make sure that there's no kind of residue or anything, uh, any dirt or anything to the bottom of the glass. You want to make sure it's on one side, about the middle, whatever's going to be your warm side of the tank. You'll just kind of lay it down on there, make sure it comes out a little bit so the cord has a little room to go down and you can just press it down on there be kind of firm with it and then you can always take like a textbook or something else that 
you might use as a paperweight and just kind of put that over there and, and let it sit for a few minutes. Make sure that these kind of have a tendency to peel back up. If you don't, make sure that they get pressed on there properly. Alrighty, and we are set up and good to go. I went ahead and put the blue daylight bulb in there, even though I won't be using it, just so you guys can kind of see what it looks like. Um, and the thermometer actually velcros to the back. Um, not exactly sure how I feel about that. I feel like it could easily be pulled off, but um, has a little velcro pad, a little velcro pad that sticks to the back of the tank, and then you stick the um, thermometer onto the velcro. So either way, I'm used to the ones that just stick straight to the glass. But anyway, all set up. There's the water dish, the hanging plant, and of course cypress mulch for the bedding. I think it all came together quite nicely, and I will be eagerly awaiting the arrival of my rainbow boa constrictor tomorrow morning. And of course, that'll be what you see next. All right, guys. So I got my rainbow boa in. So we're gonna open it up and. Hopefully this guy is alive and well. So, let's see. It is indeed. Wow, it's small. I was expecting a bigger snake. It's maybe the smallest baby I've ever gotten. Please don't bite at me. Oh, it's beautiful. Ready to get out of here. Look at those beautiful colors. It's a gorgeous snake right there. Excellent addition to the collection. Very active and curious. It's very nice. Didn't buy it at me like my Sumatran short tail did when I got it out of the package, so that's always a plus. My Anaconda didn't either. I was happy about that. Man, he is just like, <laughs> he's going the distance. He just wants to go in a vertical, a vertical line. All right. So I'll get this guy put up. Hopefully you enjoyed the review. And of course, if you did, like and subscribe for more reptile content in the future. And uh, I'm sure we'll have some more reviews and things like that in the coming months. So hope you guys enjoy and uh, have a great night.